lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is Lizzie and in today's video we are going to be filming a huge first impressions video I have so much makeup that I accumulated from April and I haven't used any of it so I need to do a few first impressions and we're gonna start off with let's go in with this I was so excited to get this so this is the BH 2000 remix dance palette it had a sleeve and you just open it up and it looks like this I actually can't wait to use this. I feel like I need to put my hair back. Anyone else get that thing in their ear where it's kind of like, not ringing, but things feel like they're vibrating? My ears feel like I can't hear properly at the moment. So if my sound is off, it's because I can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, let's put me eye base on. I don't know if you can tell, but can you see how I've done my eyebrows? Done them a little bit more fluffier than I usually do. The names on this, if you watch my haul, you will know the names are amazing. Sexy Back, Milkshake, Poker Face, Crazy in Love, Don't Char, Gold Digger, Hollaback Girl, Hey Art, Twerk, Glam. But yeah, I don't actually... There's so a nice array of mattes in here. You've got like two purple mattes, well purple and a pink. You've got black, a brown, warm tone brown, a cool tone brown, a white, a gold. <laughs> like, I don't know what to start with. I usually do neutral eyes in these first impressions. Do I go neutral? So I just asked Alex's Patreon group because I'm really unsure what to do with this palette and they've said purples. So we're going to go for the purples. Um, I feel like I want to start off with the brown because there's only like a purple and a pink. So we'll go with the brown first and put that in my outer corner. So I'm just going to make like an out of V shape. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan with this palette but nothing too serious there is banging going on outside if you can hear that but usually when there's banging outside i do tend to try and not talk while they're banging so now that the brown is down which was called hot in here we are going to take the purple called don't char again kick back in the pans but they are incredibly incredibly pigmented i just want to blend that brown out and also put it on top of the brown a bit more I'm using like a Smith brush, um, 247. I love Smith brushes, but I got this at IMAX years ago. And I wish that they still were at IMAX because I'm not paying full price for these things. This was like 16 quid anyway for one brush. But it is a nice brush, trust me. She's sitting here waiting for the doorbell to go because the new Revolution brand is meant to be turning up and I'm so excited. Spent a little while blending it out but there is like a harsh line from the brown but like once everything's on it probably be not that noticeable so we're gonna go in with Crazy in Love next and just blend out that purple shade. This is a lovely gorgeous like pink. And for this, I'm just using an MSQ brush. I love these types of brushes. If you like Jessup, you'll like MSQ. I actually did go in with like a, pla um, not a plain brush, like a clean brush just to blend this out. But it is quite noticeable which is annoying. I just took this like Roxy brush and just really tried to blend it out, but it's not really blending, but that's my own fault. I should have been a little bit more careful. At this stage, I would choose a gold and I feel like I need to not choose a gold. And hopefully maybe I should go in with, should I go in with this pale color next to it? Twerk? Cause I feel like if I go in with single lady, it will kind of just blend in and it won't pop. So maybe I should go in with twerk and just make the lid pop a bit. Gonna take a PC40 because these brushes make any shadow work. Really love this. I oh wow, that is amazing. They're crumbly. Don't get me wrong, but they're working. I feel like this is the type of shade that you should like maybe wet your brush with. So maybe we should try it wet on the other eye. Yeah, it's stuck down more now that it's wet. It's funny, it pops more in here dry, but it sticks down better when it's got a wet base. So completely up to you which side you would prefer. Let's see, I'm putting the second layer on. It's all starting to crumble a little bit. Do you know what? I feel like that side's better. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to use the wet brush for this side now. Just so that it, yeah, looks exactly the same. Let's go back in with hot in here and just blend out the edges a little bit. I'm so impatient. 
really really loving this so the newest lashes that i've got that i haven't tried just yet are the girls with attitude fantasy la lashes this is in the style mermaid i've literally used all the girls with attitude lashes now so these are the only ones that i haven't tried so i'm gonna try these um off camera i feel like you've seen me put on lashes now so i'm gonna do this off camera and then come back but I'm going to blend out my eyes a little bit more, just that little bit. Look how the eyes have turned out. They're so nice. I really love them. Now, the only new primer I have is this Beauty Bay one. This is the first priming spray. It's an oil control one. I'm really excited to try this. I did actually try it in my makeup I forgot about um, video, another priming spray. It was this one, the Taste the peach and I've just dropped something did try this but now I'm interested to see how this is so I'm going to do the same like try and hide it away from my eyes and see how it goes oh wait let me like, spray one spray first Ooh. oh that smell is not nice Whew. it feels nice but the smell is not nice I feel like a oh yeah I've got some on my nose it's a bit tacky you know hmm. okay and then for a new foundation the only one i got new is the primark one that i didn't manage to test because carly got this for me from her primark so this is so sorry i'm always thinking people are watching me the long wear radiant matte foundation i got the shade 153 and this was six pounds it does have a little pump and i do think this is going to be a little bit too dark for me but hey ho it's a little bit thick oh no i dropped it on my nice t-shirt no <laughs> and i'm gonna be doing a primark haul next and <laughs> that's gonna be fun it looks all right the shade probably a tad too dark again i haven't got any concealer to try out i just don't use concealers that much anymore do you know that i might put one around my nose because i have got a few films films videos to film but yeah I, i'm just not into concealers really aren't this is definitely one shade too dark which isn't too bad because we can blend it out with powder let me actually see if i've got a new powder to try before i actually try a new powder i've got this cheek tint by primark it just looks like this let's try a blush first it is very serumy but it smells gorgeous so it's like an apricot color it is very sheer, so I'm going to put like another layer on. I like this colour though. I was actually going to use one of my new m m m m m Mitchell ones, but I got this to try. That is a lovely shade. Absolutely lovely. That is blended into my foundation amazingly. So I don't have a new powder, however. I did buy the new ASOS box that came with this CRT Everyday Vacay Loose Powder. Now I'm not a loose powder kind of girl, so I am just gonna try it and give it away because I don't use my loose powders. But it's nice to attempt to try them, isn't it? This is actually something that will be in my May buys. So you're already seeing that. But by the time May comes, I would have given this to away. It is a nice powder, but it's just not something I will reach for. Like it's mattifying my skin and looking really flawless. Can someone tell that crow to shut up? Like we get it. You're, you're probably mating with your friend right now, but come on. Just gonna add it to the rest of my face. I feel like it's leaving like a white cast or am I just using too much? Powder is really nice, really finely milled. It's like blended into my skin lovely, but I do not reach for powders, uh, loose powders. So definitely something I will be giving away, but it is a nice powder. It smells lovely. And if you did get that ASOS box, you're probably going to be really happy with that powder. I do feel mattified. Um, but yeah, let's go in with bronzer. And for bronzer... I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Thank you, Carly. Even though I didn't use it in the right video, I'm going to use it in this video. So let's try this out. Oh, that is so nice. That is really nice. You know what? I feel bad. Like when animals make their noises and you don't actually know if they're in pain. That's what really gets me. But crows, they just always sound like they're up to something. Like I walk in a park to work every day. And I swear those crows, as soon as I enter, they're like, hey, she's here, let's aim for her. Because then when I leave the, the park and I go to like a tree, not a tree, like I cut through this little area and there's like big tree. And I get, 
I've been shat on there like twice now and the other day it literally was like that away from my foot so nearly three times I swear those crows are after me loving this look already love this bronzer like definitely gonna be using this one a lot gonna have to use Rodeo Drive I'm loving Ofra and their highlights and I would buy more but I feel like the gold tone ones are more suited to me so I need to look and see if they've got any more like goldier tone ones because I need them in my collection but this one is me it's the mini I think I got it for like a tenner I just love it I just look at that I do have this like lipstick from the Mykonos uh, Primark range this is just a lovely pinky nude so what I'm gonna do is put like a dark brown lip liner lip line um, yeah lip liner on and then put this on um, I'm gonna finish off my eyes but I'll show you after how I finish them off because I feel like putting like a nice bright white on the inner corner instead of a gold um, and then I'll come back with my final look This is the finished look. I did complete my eyes and I went in with the Elo, Elo, woo, Elo Girl Liner in Vivid like I did on Sunday. Then I went under my lash line with Don't Char and then I went in my inner corner with Glam and under my brow bone. Um, really, really do love this palette. This palette is definitely a little keeper for me. Um, it was 18 pounds and the pigmentation is really stunning like I did struggle with that brown blending it out but I bet you if I went light to dark it would have been fine I just probably put too much brown on um, the shimmers are a little bit crumbly so you once I wet my brush and put two layers on it was amazing um, so I really love that then the powder I have dropped on the floor as usual would it be a first impressions if I didn't drop my powder or something on the floor so it's on the floor at the moment really love it but I'm not going to reach for a loose powder it's just not me highlight do I have to say anything else it's just banging lips oh my god my lips oh this lipstick is so so nice like, really love this lip combo proper love it it would be even more stunning with just a gloss over the top eyelashes i love the girls with actual lashes if you're a beginner you will love them too the lash band is so thin that you can barely see it they're clear as well they just remind me of ardell's and you know how much i love ardell bronzer that Too faced bronzer love it absolutely love it really do it's really nice melts into your skin the primer smells like crap but it did work and my foundation has gone on flawlessly like absolutely flawlessly this worked so well i did have that little clumsy thing where i dropped some and put too much on but it says to shake really well which i didn't do i don't actually know the shade of this because i think they have two but this worked really really well and smells amazing it smells of apricots for my lip line um before i went in with that mykonos lipstick i went in with color pop control love this lip liner and I think that's everything. I use Roxy's liner because I'm in love with it. And then I use my Maybelline Sky High mascara because again, I love that mascara. I cannot find a mascara that works better than the Maybelline one. So yes, that is this finished look. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If there's anything more you want to know about any more of these products, please let me know because you know I'll answer your questions. And yeah, I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.